Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So a couple videos ago, I did a list of my top five favorite trout spoons of all time. If you wanna go check that out, I'll put a link in the description box down below. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at my top five trout spoons of all time. If you guys are into fishing, backpacking, and the outdoors in general, go check out the description box down below. I'll put quick links down there for a subscribe button, the gear I'm showing in the video, and other cool videos. With that out of the way, let's take a look at my current list of my top five favorite trout spoons of all time. Coming in at number five is the Thomas Lure Rainbow Trout Colored Spoons. As you can see, I have two different prints here, but they're basically the same spoon and they work equally as well. These spoons are a quarter ounce. They have great action in the water, but the reason they come in at number five is because they just don't cast all that well. Now I do a lot of hiking and backpacking to get to my fishing spots, which means that I have to think about weight. I can't bring a giant tackle box. So I need gear that works really well in lots of situations and that I can cast well because I'm usually fishing from the bank. Coming in at number four is probably a lot of people's number one, and this is a classic, the Castmaster. Now this Castmaster is blue and silver and is a one-third ounce. I've had great success with this in particular color. Also, another great thing about the Castmaster is they cast really well. Coming in at number three, we have another Castmaster. As you can see here, this one is sort of a trout colored tiger stripe. Uh, another one third ounce. Obviously being a Castmaster, it casts really well. The Castmaster has this really great action in the water. And for some reason, this tiger striped one has caught me quite a few fish. And obviously coming in at number three of all time, this is a pretty great lure for me. Coming in at number two, dun dun dun, it is another twin set. Now these are little Cleos and these are one third ounce. As you can see, they are hammered and I don't mean they've been drinking too much. You can see the pattern on there, they're kind of scaled and I think that reflects light really well. Now I have a blue and silver one and then a green and gold one both of these spoons work really, really well. They cast awesome and they have great action in the water. I think you'd have great luck with either of these spoons in a good trout lake. Drum roll. Da, 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 da. And coming in at number one. A lot of you already guessed it in previous videos and comments, but it is another little Cleo. And this is also a one third ounce, but this is the gold and red. This, in my experience, is the best trout spoon of all time. This is my favorite, favorite spoon of all time, whether I'm fishing for trout or salmon. Now, if I'm fishing for salmon, I'll step this up in the weight and the size to like a two fifths or depending how deep I wanna get down in the river. But for trout, this one third ounce gold and red little Cleo I turn to this thing whenever I'm like, man, I really got to catch a fish. This is what I'll tie on. So here's a spoon that I've been holding on to for a little while and I haven't actually got a chance to try out on some trout yet. This is a golden red steely. So this is actually for steelhead and salmon, but as you can see, it is the exact same color as that last little Cleo I showed you. So we're going to try this out soon on some trout. All right, let's take a look at a couple runners up that I think deserve a mention on this list because they are very good and very effective. They just didn't quite make it into my top five. The first is another little Cleo. So this is also a one third ounce little Cleo. This one, however, I call the rainbow bright little Cleo. Look at those colors. I don't know, depending on your age, you might remember rainbow bright was a show back in the what, late 80s, early 90s. Anyway, even though this one is bright and crazy looking, this has actually caught me quite a few fish, the Rainbow Bright Little Cleo. And last but not least, this little guy here. So this is called a Swedish pimple. I'm, I'm not even kidding, this is literally called a Swedish pimple. Uh, they come in different sizes and you can get different color 
tags for them here. They have pretty great action in the water and they cast really, really well. But because of their thin size, they don't reflect as much light as say a little Clio. So they don't, they're not quite as effective. However, I have had pretty darn good luck with these li little Swedish pimples. So there it is, a quick rundown of my top five favorite trout spoons of all time. I hope you guys get to get out on the water and give some of these a try. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one.